Fans have been astounded by this woman who defies gravity by wearing high heels, playing tennis, and even drinking coffee and reading a magazine while surfing. After spending much of her life participating in water activities with her family, Cassandra Lee only began wake surfing two years ago. However, the 29-year-old claims that as soon as pals suggested she do something hilarious on the board, she was eager for her next challenge. In an effort to impress her friends, Cassandra eventually mastered wake surfing on Stave Lake in Mission, British Columbia, Canada while hitting a tennis ball. Another video shows her sipping coffee and reading a magazine. The counselor is also seen riding the waves in high heels in another mind-blowing video. Cassandra Lee, 29, of Vancouver, has astounded admirers by wearing high heels, playing tennis, and even drinking coffee and reading a magazine while surfing. In an effort to impress her friends, Cassandra learned how to wake surf while also hula hooping and striking a tennis ball on Stave Lake in Mission, British Columbia, Canada. I've been surfing for almost eight years, a resident of Vancouver, Canada. My family has always enjoyed being outdoors and active. We started water skiing after years of boating excursions. I used to wakeboard, but I recently learned about wake surfing. My friend advised me to do something silly, so I flew a kite and sipped coffee and found it to be enjoyable. Making the goofy videos was fun for me. The 29-year-old said that because it is much more difficult to balance on the board while wearing heels, she can't go for long. One day, when my friends were discussing things I could do, I pondered whether I could do them while wearing heels. It was really no big deal. People have been offering me a lot of other ideas, I said after doing that. Cassandra mentioned that she is constantly searching for board tricks, such as hula hooping while in the water. According to Cassandra, she is constantly considering the next stunt, and she even hinted that a wedding day surf photo might be in the works. In the video, I'm moving with the wave, and we're just going extremely slowly, Cassandra remarked. Maximum speed is 8 km per hour or 5 km per hour. My dad normally pilots the boat, and then my mother, my boyfriend, and my brother help me. Almost always, our family goes out together. They appeared shocked when I pulled off the heels trick, I believe. They considered it to be somewhat cool. Cassandra believes she is constantly considering the next prank. And she even gave the impression that a wedding day surf photo might be in the works. Cassandra claims some viewers were worried she may drown in heels despite the fact that she makes each trick look effortless. However, she has since hurried to reassure them that she can manage it. They're quite encouraging and try to offer suggestions while making the videos and encouraging me. It's challenging to come up with new concepts, so I'm not sure what will happen next. Hopefully, my boyfriend and I will truly be engaged in getting married next year, and I'll be able to do a wedding photo in my wedding dress with him in his suit. The online response is really diverse. Others believe it's incredibly stupid and that if I fall in heels I won't be able to swim, while some find it to be really cool. Of course, safety measures are taken, and I make sure I can swim while wearing heels. I use a rope that is fastened to the boat to climb out. I throw the rope into the boat once I'm standing up. Wake surfing is similar to falling into waves because you're moving so slowly. It's incredibly gentle on your body, and falling doesn't hurt.